These are the 2016 Libertarian Presidential Candidates. What taxes, if any, do you believe in? How should government fund its essential duties and obligations? I believe in a voluntary society, freely, totally, completely. If we are to have taxes, why not a lottery? A lottery is just a tax on people who are bad at math. <laughs> <laughs> Our first president of the United States, George Washington, did sign lottery taxes because they said, George, how are we going to build the roads? So he found a way without coercing his citizens to, have, to allow a chance for us to find the most, uh, the, the best way for us to serve one another. The question is, who will, isn't who will build the roads, we will build the roads. So when it comes to taxation, taxation is theft. But I, <laughs> the end. <laughs> Dr. Feldman, we have a responsibility to take care of each other, but we can do that without government stealing from us. Taxation is theft, and it's the worst kind of theft because we, our government convinces people that what belongs to them belongs to the government. It's a lie, it's our money, it's not their money. Mr. Manfield. This government survived, and this nation survived for 150 years with no income taxes. How is that possible? We had a government that was doing reasonable things at small cost. No taxation that involves the sweat of your brow can possibly be legal. And taxation was illegal until 1916. We can fund this government voluntarily. We have national parks. If you want to go to the park, pay some money. If you want to drive on a road, pay a dollar for every thousand miles you drive. We can do this. But to do this, we have to stop the insanity of a government out of control and growing like a weed. And we can do that. With all due respect, your question is invalid because it presumes there are essential duties of government. If you want NASA to exist and send things into space, write a check to NASA. If you want the U.S. military to drone bomb children in the Middle East, write a check to the U.S. military. But don't force me to pay for it. Johnson. I've always said the best example of a libertarian tax is the gas tax. You use gas, you drive on the highways, now the problem with the gas tax is it gets co-opted for other things. But that said, taxation is theft. Uh, I, I, I'm running for President of the United States, so if elected, I'm going to pass any legislation that reduces taxes in this country, um, however that is. But what I would advocate is eliminating income tax, corporate tax, and because we would do that, we would then be able to abolish the IRS, which is about as tyrannical as it is. I would be, I would be elected president of the United States. I don't think Congress is going to abolish income tax and corporate tax without replacing with something. I think that they could replace it with a consumption tax. I would ask you to look at the fair tax as a way to dot the I's and cross the T's on how to accomplish one federal consumption. Ask a Libertarian Facebook fan page is spreading awareness of libertarianism and informing non-libertarians while empowering those who support liberty on a daily basis. This is your opportunity to be empowered and let us advocate libertarianism for you at facebook.com slash ask a libertarian.